All right, so like, how did you know there was something going on? Uh, we heard the dogs barking. What were your thoughts? Were you scared of him at all? I was a little. Yeah. But I knew, you know, he'd be okay. So once you found out what it was, what did you do? Uh, I ran inside, I grabbed Kendra. So Xander says it was like after midnight when he texted you. What time did you find that text? It was about 1 or 1.30. So you were at the J&L Ranch. I was sound asleep. You got a, it was it a FaceTime? It was a text followed by a FaceTime instantly. Like the text just dinged and then a FaceTime came through and here's Xander. And you knew something was wrong immediately because it was so late. It was so late. Was the camera shows you running back in and then going back out what were you wearing? So I think it was admirable because Xander's out there doing what he's trying to do and your focus was the dogs. What were you trying to do with the dogs? Yes, yeah, so he was just trying to take care of that and I was just, I wanted to get the dogs out of the way, get the dogs in the house. All right, so at some point you realized it was just not safe, so you decided to what? Uh, how did you feel when you woke up and you saw the text and you knew that they were still out and about? Um, cautious, very cautious. Oh, cautious. All right, so the thing is, what advice do you give to someone like Xander, being he and Kendra and your mom were all here, you know, all alone? Honestly, I wanted them all to go back inside. Right. Okay, so once you guys were all inside, like, then what? What do you, what do, you do then? Well, we just had to stay in the house because, I mean, they were all over the house. They were walking by the windows. You could see them. I mean... Did you happen to lock the door behind you when you went back in? No. No, cows can't figure out how to open a door. Oh, you didn't think cows could come inside the house? <laughs> okay, well, they got out of the pasture somehow, but you didn't come in the house then. It was Thursday night, just before midnight, when all of the dogs erupted into growling and barking. Jamie and I were not home. Kendra, Xander, and Jamie's mom were all here at Longhorn Lester's. Jamie's mom was sound asleep. Xander and Kendra heard all the dogs barking and began to scramble trying to figure out what might be going on. It wasn't long before Xander discovered that Tex, that's right, the Longhorn Bull, we all know as Tex, decided to have one last hurrah with his beloved son, Santoro, his only son. It's true, Santoro, as everyone already knows, is destined to be the herd bull of another ranch and Tex wanted one last chance to kind of show Santoro some of the fun, some of the memories he could take with him. And so Tex decided to somehow propel himself over, you heard me right, over a roll of hay and found himself free inside the yard here at Longhorn Musters. Now, Tex didn't want to have this adventure alone. This was, in fact, something he wanted to share with his son. It didn't take long for him to call Santora over, told him even how to get through. Santoro following his dad's trail, his dad's example, found himself out. Tex led Santoro around the yard despite the dogs barking, despite Kendra and Xander and even Jamie's mom trying to put a stop to it. Oh, they went through every flower bed, through the greenhouse, and they filled their bellies on things that, well, things they should not be eating. And they had fun doing so. And they had a blast. Oh, they destroyed plants. They left footprints in places that have never felt the weight of a thousand pound bull. They created memories. 
They created memories that will stay with Santoro for years to come as he makes his way on this upcoming weekend to his brand new ranch and he meets all of his new lady friends. He will forever carry memories that he and his dad created here together. We love Santoro and we will miss him. And what an adventure he has put us through these last couple of days. All right, so I, how did you know there was something going on? Uh, we heard the dogs barking and they were, they were going crazy. And like, what time of day was this, or what time of night? It was around 11 p.m., um, closer to midnight. So when Xander got up, went outside, and he was mad, what was your first reaction? What were your thoughts? Were you scared of him at all? I was a little. Yeah. But I knew, you know, he'd be okay. So Xander says it was like after midnight when he texted you. What time did you find that text? It was about 1 or one thirty. And did you just wake up natural? Or, yeah. And you read the text? What was your first reaction? Um. All right, so I know I was sound asleep. You and I are both over at the JL property. Mm -hmm. I'm sound asleep. And all of a sudden, you get a text. Followed instantly by a FaceTime from Xander. And as a mom, it's late. There's... The only reason that your kid FaceTimes you whenever it's late is, is not to just tell me how much he loves me. I have to ask, what did you two boys get into last night, huh? Oh, it wasn't your fault. Of course it wasn't. It was his. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Santoro. What are your uh, What are your thoughts there, buddy? You can just come going to come right on over again. I'm just going to come right on over. Listen, I want you to know that we love you. And I'm proud of you. Santoro, you know you're going to go off and make us very proud, right? You do make us proud. And you're going to make a lot of lady friends very happy. You have a lot of wonderful babies. Yes, you are. And you're very strong super handsome and me and your dad could not be more proud of you okay well we, we can't be we're proud of you sir we're proud of you we're proud of you sheesh <laughs> that's our Santoro Tex you did good buddy 
And now it's time for him to go off and show the world how amazing he is. Give me that horn. Give me that horn. All right. I'll leave you alone. You big fighting bull, you. We love you, Santoro. We've always loved you.